Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can find and use factorials on the Casio FX 9750 G3 calculator. To do this we'll use the option key that looks like this located here. The F1, F3, and F6 keys that look like this located along the top here. And the exit key that looks like this, located here. We'll be doing our examples in the run mode, so we want to highlight that and then press the EXE key so that we're at this screen here. We know a factorial, like say three factorial, is the number and all whole integers below it multiply together. So three factorial is three times two times one. If we want to enter three factorial on this calculator, we start by placing the three on our screen and then pressing the option key. That'll bring us to this menu here and we want to press F6 to go to the next menu. Now we want to choose the third option here, the probability menu. To do that, we press the F3 and now we have these options. We see our first option, or our F1 option, is X factorial. So if we press that, we see we now have a factorial symbol beside our three. So now we have three factorial. And if we press the execute key, we see we get a result of six. So three factorial is equal to six, which is correct. To go back to our original menu, we can press the exit key. And that gets us back to this menu here. Another example, if we want to find 5 factorial, again, we start by placing the 5 on our screen and then pressing the option to this menu here, where we press F6 again and then choose the F3 probability and F1 for the factorial. Now we have 5 factorial, and if we press EXE, we see we get 5 factorial is equal to 120, which is correct. But what happens if we try to do a very large factorial, like say 100 factorial? We enter that on our screen, and then press the factorial, and the EXE will get this error screen. That's because the resulting number is just too large for this calculator to display. In fact, the largest factorial this calculator can display is 69 factorial, which we see gives us a result. But if we try 70 factorial, we get that error. So if you're trying to do a very large factorial and you're getting this error, that might be the problem. All right, I hope this helps and good luck on those tests out there, everybody.